Hi. I just spat. Sorry about that. It was my chewing gum just kind of forced some saliva out of my mouth. I don't know. Let's move on. Uh, How are you? I'm fine. What's your name? I'm Gail from Charlotte. Gail? How are you? Thanks for having us. Thanks for being here. Um, my question is, what would Ketch and Mick have made of Henry Winchester in the American Man of Letters, and what do you think Henry would have made of the Brits? Wow, that's a great question. Um, so if they if they ever met, in other words, I, I again I think it would still be kind of the similar dynamic because which is just it, there, there, there was the culture clash, but also the. The British Men of Letters had become sort of, as I said yesterday, sort of this like ideological crusade, right? The, just the purity test of ideology and, and uh, pseudo-religion. So, you know, I guess in his American style, it, it, you know, with seeing the subtlety and the humanity and, and the in-between, that's what I love about this show is it lives so much in the gray, Yeah. right? Everyone's a little bit bad, everyone's a little bit good. Or it's real life, potentially redeemable, and also does some horrible things. Yeah. You know, even your heroes of the show have done some Dean's done shady things, right? Yeah. Um, you know, some would call murder, yeah. right? Maybe not on purpose or accidentally. We're not on stage here, but like very, that's what's fun about this show is like it has all this moral ambiguity a little bit, but it's always trying to get back to center and goodness and decency and loyalty and family. That's that's what the heart of the thing is. So, um, and the and the British Men of Letters just didn't get that because again they're top down, sort of ideologues. Brainwash. Does that make yeah brainwash too? So does that make sense? I think it would, I think it would be a very similar dynamic. Thank you. Thank you. Great question.